everyone, Dr. Alex is back. Well, if you are new to my channel, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. For today, I am going to talk about 10 common mistakes that Filipinos commit in their English classroom. I usually see this in the social media, most particularly in FB. When someone comments how beautiful you are, kepay madala si You're so beautiful. This one is incorrect. Kasi, you're sa Tagalog ang iyong. Unlike when you say, you're so beautiful, this one is correct. Kasi, Y-O-U, a positive R-E, is a contraction of you are. So, right now, I hope you know the difference between you're so beautiful and you're so beautiful. Next. One of my friends is sick. This is also incorrect in the sense that whenever you use one of my or one of the, the noun that follows should always be in the plural form. The correct one is, one of my friends is sick. Kasi isa sa mga kaibigan niyo ang tinutukoy mo. And therefore, it's okay to say one of the boys, one of the girls. Kumbaga, isa sa mga kakilala, isa sa mga kaibigan, isa sa mga niluloko. Here's another common mistake. Me and my mother went to the mall. That's wrong because ang daming tao gumagamit ng me and my sister, me and my brother, me and my sister, and so on. You are not supposed to use me kasi objective ko siya. Hindi siya pwede namin na subject. If you're still going to use referring to the word me, you are supposed to use I. So it should be, my mother and I went to the mall. May technique dyan eh. Try mong remove yung my mother. Maiwan dun yung I went to the mall. Tama siya, di ba? Pero pag sinabi natin, me went to the mall. Well, that's wrong. You're not supposed to use me as subject. Tandaan mo lang, please don't use me. So, what's wrong? Okay, so next one is this. My best friend gave me advices. Well, this one is incorrect. In the sense that there is no such a thing as advices. The plural form of the noun advice should be pieces of advice. The correct version should be My best friend gave me pieces of advice. You guys will be thinking right now, how about the word advices? Well, verb po siya, action word. Example, he advises me to speak early. So, tignan nyo na lang ha. Advice na may C at advice na may S. Magkasing tunog lang sila pero mag-iba. Parang siya at ako. Parehas kami ng girl, pero magkaiba kami. Try lang. Let's continue. Nakawal nyo ba yung bonus mo? I'm sure, mahaba yung tila kung saan kaya mabibigo. At mapapasabi ka na naman. There are many people lining up in the ATM machine. ATM machine? Magandang pulan kasi yung M sa ATM ay machine. Are you going to say automated power machine machine? Paulit-ulit, di ba? Parang siya. Paulit-ulit ka niyang miniloko pero dead na ka lang. Char! So, you're not supposed to say ATM machine. Dapat ATM do. How about this one? Please fill up the form. Is this correct? Obviously, mali siya. Kasi ang dapat, please fill out the form. Ano may pagkakaiba ng fill up sa ka-fill out? When you say fill out, you're going to write something in a particular document or form. On the other hand, when you say fill up, you're going to make something full. For example, fill up the container. So, pupuluin mo yung container or tiba. Parang yung love mo sa kanya. You fill up his heart with your love, pero hindi siya satisfied sa'yo. Try lang. Let me show you the next one. Minsan may mga nalilito sa paggamit ng there, there, at there. Unahin natin yung there. There is an adverb of place. Example, I will go there. Pupunta ako dyan. Next, there. In Filipino, we call it ang kanilang. Kasi it's used as pronoun. Example, their house is big. Ang kanilang bahay ay malaki. And the last one is there, which is a contraction of they are. They're so helpful. Sila ay matulong yun. Okay, so huwag kakalimutan, magkakasintunog man sila, medyo nakakalito. Pero parang sa pag-ibig lang yun eh. Marami man sila, pero at least alam mo kung sila yung tama. Wow! Here's the next sentence. He's a good friend of mine. Well, this one is also incorrect. In the sense that 
Kiss is a possessive pronoun which refers to something that belongs to a male species. For example, Austin's phone. Austin is male, so we use his phone. Ang kanyang phone. So yung word na his refers sa kanya. So sa kanya lang talaga, between adult, try lang, and take it inside, the correct version should be, his a good friend of mine. Because his is a contraction of his. Now let's take a look at this one. Which one is correct? Whose bag is that or whose bag is that? Well, actually, yung nauna yung mali. Kasi, whose bag is that? It's a contraction of who is. Alam mo naman sabi mo, who is bag is that? Mali, di ba? So, yung tama doon is whose bag is that? Yung pangalawa. And, take note na lang na yung whose refers to sino. Yung whose naman na isa, kanino. So, ang tanong ko sa'yo, sino ba talaga sa kanila? Kanino ba talaga yung whose yung char? By the way, before I'm going to mention the 10th common mistake na mga Pinoy sa English grammar, gusto ko muna iparating ang pakikiramay ko sa lahat ng mga kaibigan, kakilala, katrabaho at kamag-anak na may pumanaw na mahal sa buhay sa gitna ng pandemya. My condolences. Well, speak of the word condolences, yun yung tama. Kasi madalas sa FB nakikita ko, condolence, which is wrong. So between condolence and condolences, you're supposed to use condolences. Alright, now that you've learned the 10 common mistakes of Pinoy's, I hope the next time around you're not going to commit the same mistake anymore. So that's all we have for today. I hope you learned something from me. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.